Hey Scorpio, welcome. This is your September 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower reading. Please like, subscribe and share. It does help us grow the channel. Before we do the reading, <clears throat> have a look at the right side of the screen. There is a little um, picture here and in the description box you will find the link to our Kickstarter campaign. As you probably remember, um, I collaborated, collaborated with a friend of mine, an um, incredible artist, and um, we were working on a 38 Spirit Animal Guide Oracle Card deck, which is now complete, and our Kickstarter campaign um, is on, um, and it only runs until the end of September, and in order for us to turn that beautiful deck into reality, we need you. So if you um, want to have a look at the deck and maybe pledge, uh, now is the time. So please do that. Please find the link in the description box. In any case, Scorpio, <coughs> this is your general reading for September 2022. Now, what we will do is we will actually slightly or loosely divide the, the reading into sections so it's a bit easier to understand. We will look at the overall energy for the months ahead before we then look at what is called your emotional core, which means is there love coming in, is there trauma that can go, that sort of stuff, before we then last, lastly look at opportunities as to present themselves to you in the months of September 2022. Now, Scorpio, remember that September is the ninth month of the year. Nine is the number of completion. By that token alone, you, you are asked to not procrastinate and to not overthink because nine is the number of completion. So whatever you start, finish it. Whatever you want, really go for it. Right? This is just the extra energy that the nine has, if that makes sense. So now let's have a look what the month brings for your very sign. Right? Let's have a look. Wow. So... Your overall energy is the seven pillars of wisdom, right? But there's more to life than wisdom because what the number seven denotes is also protection and health. There's actually a St. Michael's grid <coughs> that is widely used in Reiki where you call in on Archangel Michael or on your spiritual relations and then you ask um, your spiritual relation, relations to cover you to the front, to the back, the left to the right from above from below and in the center and then you say that seven time and then seven times and then you then then you say i ask you to cover me uh, um, with your blue sword of protection and 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 of protection and blah, 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 blah. Uh, i can't talk of your protection and healing and that nothing can enter the aura of my force field without your divine permission. That is just to say, Michael's grid, there's tons of stuff around. The point they're making is because you have the seven pillars of wisdom. And it's important for you to realize that with regards to the overall energy, you, uh, you, uh, the way you pace yourself alone is what, or is the deciding factor, factor whether or not you get somewhere. <clears throat> and then you have the pillars of wisdom, which means you already do possess all the knowledge you need, all the answers you need. So if you're looking for sort of advice, what do I need to do? Um, the universe is saying to you, look within. Really, really important to look within. Okay? Uh, short and sweet, so to speak. Um, and now we're looking at the uh, emotional core. And your emotional core, core is mind control. Sounds a bit harsh, but, but they, they don't mean it in... in, in in that kind of way. Mind control means that what you ought to really control is that part of you that procrastinates, that part of you that doubts, that part of you that is uncertain, even if the answer is right in front of you, right? And controlling is not something we do well. It just basically means here to pay attention and to not let outside factors um, affect your way of thinking. Right, so maybe you have people that are good friends, but they advise from their point of view, and uh, because they're not you, that might not really work for you. Right, so that's the important part here. So, what I'm not seeing here is whether or not love comes in. Um, I'm also not seeing whether or not 
you have to go through trauma this month. What I'm seeing is with regards to any emotional baggage that you have <clears throat> is to approach it from a higher point of view. And when you reflect on stuff, do it without all the baggage. Do it without getting angry. Do it without getting, getting frustrated. Just pay attention to where you are at when you feel these things. Um, and that's how that's the mind control um, this deck talks about. Lastly, dear Scorpios, we're looking at the um, opportunities as the percent themselves see you in the months of September. And you got two cards. You got the fifth dimension and the black mage. So let me just show this to you. Fifth dimension and the black mage. So with regards to opportunities, I don't feel that they will be plentiful in September <coughs> for your sign. But everything and anything you do that you're trying to manifest uh, new opportunities, which is largely about what sort of uh, uh, sustains you financially, it is really important to do this from a higher point of view. Really, really important. Always touch yourself, right? Uh, and then reflect, you know. So if I do that job and I have been doing this job for 10 years, before I then go like, oh, they pay more and they would probably employ me, we have to stop. Am I actually really that happy in that job? Or am I happy with what the job pays for, right? How much am I really invested in what I'm doing? That sort of thing. That would be your shift in dimension. And then the black mage is literally um, a magician. So what that means is, sounds a bit weird or maybe not, depending on who you are. Only people who believe in magic will find it. What that means is, look for magical opportunities. What that means is something where you feel like, oh my God, you know, this would be so awesome or this is going to be so awesome. Something that gets you into awe and, and maybe a bit of wonder rather than um, sort of, this is what I'm getting at least uh, here, is to, to, to not keep following narratives that don't really fulfill you, right? And that's all I'm getting. <clears throat> so that's all we got. If you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, please remember, before you go away, <laughs> you know, after watching the video, if you find, if you can find the time to like, subscribe and share, that would be awesome. But also, have a look at the, um, at the card deck. And maybe if you like it, please pledge. Okie dokie, guys. Thank you so much. See you all next month. Bye-bye.